Hey guys, how's it going? So I know it's been a while. I know it's been like two months or a little bit over. Sorry, not sorry. Get over it. One thing I the, 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 there's two things that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, one of them is real magic, and the second we're actually going to get into later. Wild birds. So real magic. What do I mean when I say real magic? Well, I don't mean like like you know when you go to a, magi a magic show. And the guy, he or girl, I'm not, you know, takes a completely empty stage and puts a tiger on it. Whoopty fucking do, you know? Um, that's not real magic. He put that tiger there when you weren't looking. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things that just so happen to happen a certain way every single time. So, like, for instance, I used to be a magician, right? That's how I know all that shit's fake. Um... Also because I'm not an idiot and I've read some books. No, I'm talking about the magic where it just kind of works out in your favor. Like for instance, I used to do this one magic trick where one thing that I would have the participant do or the audience or whatever you want to call them um, is they would take a deck of cards. It wasn't a full deck. There was only 50 cards in it because I had taken two out to put down. But what they would have to do is sort them into decks, um, depending if they thought it was a red card or a black card, the deck would be face down. And one thing that I noticed is that almost every single time, they would get at least within two cards of being perfectly even. So perfectly even would be 25 on each side because there's 50 cards right there, right? And they would get 24 and 26, just one off. 23 and 27, just two off every single time. Every single time. They didn't try to. Um, I've asked them multiple times if they tried to make them even. 90% of people do not. They just tried to get it right. Right? Um, they weren't paying attention to that at all. They weren't attempting to make them even. It just worked out that way. Sometimes it's even surprised people because they didn't think it would, you know, come out even they thought they intentionally made it uneven and they were only off by like two or three so that's real magic right there when it, i it, i know it works in our subconscious and it's not actually real magic but that's as close to real magic as i think we're gonna get another example and we're only given two because i forgot to write them down and i forgot the third one is when something on your car breaks and you ignore it and then it just magically is fixed. Like for instance, my windshield wiper washer fluid sprayer nozzle thing, a um, couple months back, just stopped working out of the blue. Couldn't figure out why. It's when all the shit was going wrong with my car. So at that point, I was just like, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Of course, my windshield wiper fluid would go out. You know, why the fuck not? Well, it started working again the other day. I know, crazy, right? I haven't done anything to it. I haven't even asked a mechanic to look at it. I've looked at it, obviously, because I was I wanted my windshield wiper fluid squirter thing back. But I didn't take it to a mechanic because I was like, honestly, not the top priority right now. So, but that was weird because, I mean, my windshield was hella fucking dirty. It was nighttime. I was like, I'm not going to be able to see very well. We'll just give it a gander, see if it goes. And sure as shit, liquid came out and started cleaning my windshield. What? This hasn't, this hasn't worked for like two or three months, and now you're just magically going to work again? All right. That's real magic, in a way. I know there's probably some scientific way to uh, explain that, but I don't have that answer. I don't know why. I thoroughly checked it to see if I could fix it, and I could not. There was nothing I did. There was nothing anyone else did. It just started working again for absolutely no reason which is really ben beneficial on my behalf, but fucking weird. So the second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is I am actually about to get a new camera. Ah. Yay, <laughs> finally, right? I've been wanting a camera for so long. Um, my girlfriend, Tulsa, you've met Tulsa, and everyone are probably so sick and tired of me talking about it, but I've wanted a camera for so long, and I'm finally going to get one. So one thing I wanted to do before I got that camera, because honestly, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of this stuff through my phone anymore, because I'll have that, because 
why not? And so one thing I want to do is get a bunch of cinematic shots, just things that look really pretty, um, not necessarily for a specific purpose, but just things that look really pretty on this phone before I switch to that camera. So yeah, we're just going to go into that. So you might have been able to tell that there actually was a theme to it. And the reason is because I, this is a few weeks later. This is about a week and a half later. And I actually have my camera now. It's the, uh, the Canon EOS RP. I can't remember if I said that before. Bam. Yeah. Um, actually, let's just switch over to that just real quick. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Dang, right? So now I'm actually going to play the clip of the... Of the now I'm actually gonna play the clip of me shooting my motorcycle with this camera. Check it out. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the cinematic videos of my motorcycle, which I think is pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna hope to have new videos coming out more often. I know it's been a while. Again, I said that in the beginning, I think. I'm gonna try to, and I will talk to myself later.